Greetings everybody, I'm Nick DiVirgilio and today's video is on these beautiful products brought to you by Sella Percussion. Sella's been around for more than 20 years and their percussion products not only sound amazing, they're also beautifully constructed, look great, and are so much fun to play. I have a wonderful assortment of Sella products here with me today. Let's start with their amazing hand pans. Hand pans are part of the idiophone family. That means the sound is created by the vibration of the instrument itself. Many of the instruments I have here with me today are also part of the idiophone family, like the tongue drum, singing bowls, and even the claves. Hand pans have a convex shape, and you play the instrument with your hands. It has a mellower sound that is really beautiful, clear, and long-lasting because of the port on the bottom of the instrument. To me, the hand pans look a little bit like a tortoise shell. They come in many different scales, which make them very easy to play because all of the notes go together. Either put the instrument on your lap to play it or use the Sella handpan stand like the one I have holding up this instrument here and just start making music. The scale for the instrument I have here is the D Amaris scale. The scale is sometimes called the Celtic minor scale and what it does is it takes out the sixth degree of that scale which makes it super easy to play, especially for the beginner. There really are no wrong notes to hit. Here at Sweetwater, we have a nice variety of Sella handpans with different scales to fit whatever vibe you're looking for. You heard what the handpan sounded like at the top of the video in the song, but now while it's quiet, let me play the handpan for you and show you really that there is no wrong notes. Just play the instrument. does sound so beautiful. To get a nice sharp tone, hit it with right around the first knuckle of your finger and give it a little snap. Like that. You can totally play with your whole hand. Get a more full sound like that. You can do some percussive movements with your wrist, your thumb, and your fingers to maybe make some triplets like this. There's really no rules, just have fun with the instrument and play all around it. The reason you get such beautiful sustain and long notes is because you have these two steel bowls held together by this rubber strip and this sound hole that's at the bottom brings a nice low end, nice round tone and definitely lets the notes sing for a very long time. Every hand pan comes with a sticker on it to tell you exactly what the scale is of that instrument. And really that's about it. It's just a beautiful sound. You can get really mellow with it. It's not very loud. You can play this in your house late at night. These are great for all kinds of different situations. You can definitely make music with these instruments. They're not meant to just be played alone, but if you are alone, it's a great time. 
I also have with me today some wonderful steel tongue drums. Like the hand pans, the tongue drums are set to a certain scale, so all you have to do is hit the drum with your mallets and sink into the beautiful sound that the instrument makes. It's another great instrument for the beginning player or someone who likes to relax while playing a very soothing instrument. The bigger drum here has the D Akebono scale, which is a scale used in traditional Japanese music. And the little one I have here is the G minor scale. The drums come with two mallets that you play the instrument with and also their own bag. Here's what the little G minor tongue drum sounds like. Very pretty, and you get nice long sustain with these as well. And here's what the bigger drum sounds like with the D Akebono scale. Ooh, very dark sounding. Isn't that cool? Now, I did hit it with the, the wood part of the mallet, and that's okay. There's no rules here. You can get a nice little percussive sound. Just be creative and have fun with that beautiful instrument. I have two kalimbas here with me today. They're made out of mahogany wood, come in a wide variety of colors, and some even have elaborate art on them. The blue one I have here is in C major and it has 17 keys. Sounds like this. Very nice traditional kalimba sound. The smaller red kalimba here has 10 notes and again in C major. Very nice, beautiful sound. Comes with a bag and their own case and you get the little hammer so you can tune the keys if you need to. Here are Sella's two-tone claves. They come in two different lengths. See, one is shorter than the other. That makes it easy to experiment with different tones because of the different lengths. These are a mainstay instrument in Latin music, but they've also been used in all kinds of pop songs throughout the years. Remember this one? I give her all my love. That's all I do. And if you saw my love, you'd love her too. And I love her. Ah, oh, how was that? Wasn't that good? Woo! Oh, see, it's a nice song. Nice, pretty songs with the claves. There you go. Sella has a very nice mini shaker set that comes with three shakers and you get a soft, medium, and hard tone. You can play each on their own or one at a time. I have them right here. They tell you exactly what each shaker is right on the shaker. They have a nice, beautiful tone. That's the soft one. Here's the medium shaker. A little bit harder sounding. And then the hard shaker. The reason there's a harder sound or a softer sound is that the beads that are inside the shakers are either bigger or smaller. Bigger means harder sound, smaller means softer sound. Another very cool thing to do is to put all the shakers together to make a nice big shaker sound. Sort of like this. Before we get to the amazing sound of the singing bowls, check out this really nice accessory for your hand pan. Very nice looking braided polyester rope that you can place around the edge of your hand pan. Just give it a great look. Now let's move over to these beautifully crafted singing bowls. These bowls are handmade in India, inspired by Tibetan singing bowl traditions. When you hit the bowl with the mallet provided, you get a beautiful, broad, warm, long-lasting tone that is really nice. It's a beautiful sound if you want to relax or meditate. These are perfect for a yoga studio setting or anything like that where you want to just relax and let the sound soak in. Here at Sweetwater, we sell many different sizes of singing bowls individually, or in packs. I have here one of our three packs with the 8.7 inch bowl, the 10.2 inch bowl, and the big daddy right here, the 11.4 inch bowl. How do you play these things? Well, there's really no rules. You can strike the bowl with either side of the mallet. The back end gives you a slightly harder sound than the front, and you don't have to strike the bowl very hard. You can start soft and let the sound grow and manipulate it in some very cool ways. Let me show you. The first thing to do is just to hit it softly and let the sound grow and go into your ears. See what you think. Check this out. It's so nice and soothing and it lasts a really long time. 
Here's what it sounds like with the back end of the mallet. So you get a little bit more of the metallic sound when you hit it with the back end of the mallet. And then again, softer with the front end. You can hit on the inside, the outside, anywhere you want. One of the things I like to do with these bowls is to manipulate the sound, kind of have fun with the mallet. You can do some effect sort of things. Check this out. I'm going to hit the drum and then put the mallet inside and get a sort of swirling sound because of it. It's really neat. Check it out. So you can hear the tone, this is what the other bowls sound like. Isn't that neat? My video crew is getting very zen behind the cameras here because these bowls sound so good and just make you relax by hearing these tones. A really great thing if you get home from a hard day's work and you want to relax and get that zen feeling, get some singing bowls and it'll make it happen. Every bowl comes with a pad you put on the bottom and a very nice bag that is lined on the inside. Some nice red velvet. It keeps the bowls nice and secure and safe and clean. Let me quickly tell you how I'm recording these beautiful instruments today. I have two AEA N8 microphones above the table here going into a UA Apollo X8P and on into Pro Tools. And there you go, beautiful instruments from Sailor Percussion. If you want any more information about any of the products I have here with me today, or any of the other great Sailor products we have here at Sweetwater, make sure to contact your Sweetwater sales engineer. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Nick DeVirginia. Thanks so much for watching everybody. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Click right here for more videos just like this one or go to sweetwater.com for all your music instrument and pro audio needs.